So we're at Pelican Lake. We're gonna try to capture some muskies till I get sick of it. You can see there's some snow on some of the buildings over here. We just had a major cold front, so I'm assuming the bike's gonna be tough. And there's no boats out here. And usually there's always boats out here. So that's probably not a good sign, but we're gonna keep casting and try her. And I think to start off with, we're gonna use a mag a double dog and, and make dog and just rotate out colors and we're probably going to throw like a phantom and some big crankbaits and just variable rate retrieve them and see if we can fi figure out what they're chasing so let's see how this goes here's what the lake looks like you can see snow on that roof over there it's a big lake <laughs> we are hooked up on the double dog I think it's just a pike, and it's, I think the pike's about half the size of the double dog. I think this is a slaughter pike, though. What the hell? Can you release yourself? Good, I don't have to handle you. <laughs> That's literally like half the size of the fish, or more. That's pretty funny. We're out here. I should have wore warmer clothes. It's pretty freaking cold out here. It doesn't help that it stay cloudy out, so I think it's staying in the low 30s. It was supposed to get to 40, but it needs to clear up for it to warm up. But there's a lot of loons out here, and I've had one follow and got one pike so far. And right now we're fishing with this big plastic. I don't even know what brand it is, and I still have on a Phantom and a Baby Depth Raider. I'm going to put on something different soon, though. But yeah, I'm getting sore, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be out here. You can get, ham get hammered. All I know is these big baits are bothering my back already, which is not a good sign. Our phantom got hammered by this brochet. We better see if he's over 26, because we need to get make some poor man's lobster with Sprite like Lubo makes. I bet you this guy's still in the slot. Ooh, he has a big bite mark on him. My odds pro net's a little small, too. It's a decent sized pike on the Phantom. This is more entertaining watching me try to land this in a small net. I just don't want to get hooked. There, this one we actually got in the boat. Nice pike. Peche a la broche. We better see if he's over the slot. Oh, yeah, we're going for it here for. <laughs> These baits fucking rip, rip the crap out of them. Let's see if we made a mess in the net. There, she's off. That was a sweet strike, though. Yes, it's over the slot. Dana, we're gonna make some poor man's lobster. 27 inches. Molly's. You should just fucking start throwing smallmouth shit up in. That's a fucking slab of a smallie too. How long is this guy? Get him on the bump board. That's only 17, that's just a football. We need a small more selfie though.
So this video was filmed in October. I don't know the exact date, probably like October 15th or 20th or something. But I was trying to fish for musky and I caught no musky. I had one follow and I got two pike and a bass and I lost another smolly. But all in all, it was fun times. So it was a good explore, good getting back out on this lake. I've got some really nice muskies out of this lake, but not this day. Hopefully next year I'll be back out musky fishing. My back has been bothering me a lot, and when I've been out casting for muskies, it's really bothered me this day. So I haven't been out musky fishing since. But that's why I haven't been out musky fishing because I'm barely being able to make it through work. So hopefully next season I'll be out musky fishing a lot more. So that's it for this video.